90% of the world's mobile phones, 80% of the world's computers, and 28% of the world's automobiles. This is what China produced or assembled in the year 2015. Everything is made in China, including me. As American politicians keep on complaining their jobs being taken by China, where our jobs will probably be taken by robots, according to China's new manufacturing plan. We will work hard on development of projecting in, in building a robust foundation for industrial development projects to develop and make major equipment or make big push develop advanced manufacturing. China Manufacturing 2025 initiative is similar to Germany's Industry 4.0, but it's actually more than that, because it will not only use the advancement in the production technology and instrument, but also policy tools to make the industry more competitive. This initiative constitutes of a three-stage plan for establishing China as a leading global manufacturing power by 2049, the 100th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. The strategy sounds so right to China, but will this really help China dominate the next generation of manufacturing? And will the foreign companies in China really benefit from strategy? The European Chamber of Commerce in China spent more than four months writing this report. Let's get inside and see what it has to say about it. China's manufacturing has always been big, but not strong. Now China has decided not to only to become the world's factory, but also become the design center and engineer center. What European companies think about it? Look, they think it's trying to plan what the market should decide. It's one thing for a, a company to have market share visions, uh, uh, I think most of us do, but at the same time it's very unusual to have a government setting uh, uh, market shares for its uh, industries, in particular globally, uh, and it definitely does not leave it up to the marketplace and the customers to decide which product to choose. Wow, what I feel right there is a lot of fear. Not fear of how competitive a Chinese company would be like, according to the strategy, but fear of this as a government intervention. It's like a giant elephant stepped in the house and they have no idea of what this giant thing is going to do to them. The challenge for Europe is, of course, besides that we welcome Chinese, uh, in particular, entrepreneurial investment in our uh, region, is that if it is state-driven, policy-driven, on an on a industrial plan-driven um, uh, uh, engagement in our economy, actually that might lead to market distortions in the European Union. I'm Tony Chou, I'm, I was made in China. So China's uh, manufacturing has been based on cheap labor, but now it's kind of like losing it because uh, it's trying to replace the human resources by uh, robots. Will China has any chance of dominating the next generation of manufacturing? I guess it's a little bit too short to believe that you can fix China's manufacturing disadvantage with a shrinking working pool by throwing robots at the factories. So when you look into the design, the engineering, all of this, that requires good education. That requires basically good uh, IPR laws where your, where your invention is being protected. That requires that you have a global exchange of ideas and design, uh, which of course requires a rather free uh, internet. Well, they seem that European companies hate government intervention and only believe in free market. But some believe that appropriate industry policy is crucial for the newly rising industries of developing countries like China, where market infrastructure is not well built. I think the minister was trying to emphasize that the initiative is never aimed to force foreign companies to transfer the technology to China as a cost of a market access. So we have to this is not 要限制外资企业，我们对内外资企业都是一视同仁的。Do you think China will dominate the next generation of manufacturing, and how the rest of the world be influenced by it? Leave your comments below because I want to know what's on your mind. 
I'm Tony Cho, and to see you next time.